In today's video, I have here a Cisco 9851 desk phone. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. We're gonna unbox it, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get it provisioned initially and start making calls. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's dive in and check it out. All right, so here is the box that the device is in. You can see it has an outline of the phone on the front. As per usual, Cisco has serial numbers and MAC addresses on the side of the box for scanning in bulk. When we open up the device or open up the box, we see the device in here. We have the quick, uh, you know, regulatory compliance document in case you need to take a look at that. There is really minimal packaging in here to keep this thing simple to unpack, simple to, to work with, particularly if you have to take, you know, a thousand of these out of the box at a time. So here is the phone itself. It comes with an ethernet cable uh, to plug it in with. It has a stand, the leg for the back of it, and this will snap onto the back of the phone. We'll do that here in a second. And then it has the handset. Uh, and of course the cord to connect the handset. And as you'll notice, Cisco's done a really good job of keeping the extra you know, garbage and waste to a minimum. Uh, so that is really it as far as what comes in the box. As you can see here, I have everything out of the box. Everything's out of the plastic. It took all of 60 seconds to get the plastic off of everything. This is really important if you have a team out deploying these in bulk. Uh, and then assembly is straightforward as well. So. You take the leg and simply snap it into these little uh, holes in the back here. And just like that, the phone is standing up and ready to sit on a desk. Likewise, handset is straightforward as well. Plug it in. And like other Cisco phones, there's a little track to put the, uh, the cord in. Snap it in to uh, its port. Fasten it in here, and away we go. A couple of things I want to point out about the physical unit itself. It does support power. I'm going to put the link to the power uh, cable in the video description as well, if you would find that you need one of those. Of course, it does support PoE, uh, like most other IP phones these days, and also supports a pass-through port for a computer or another device that may be on the desk as well. There's a USB-C port here. There's a Kensington lock. Um, the back of this is kept pretty straightforward. This is the 9851. It has a port on the side for an expansion module if you would need one. If you're not using it, you can simply cap it back off. On the front, there are a number of line keys, soft keys, the directional and uh, menu key here. You'll notice that voicemail is no longer a specific key on here. There are action keys. The star here is an action key, and that will allow you to um, you know, configure that as a voicemail key or other functions as well. One of the things that's unique about this device is it has a uh, kind of an emergency button on the top as well. Now this is programmable to do different things. It could be for 911, it could for, be for other, uh, you know, kind of, hot button type scenarios. That is uh, unique to this device as well. Of course, your numbers and, and really everything else is very common and very familiar if you're a Cisco phone user today. Starting the phone up is as simple as connecting the ethernet to the back. With PoE, you'll notice the phone powers up right away. Indicator light comes on. There's a light across the bottom here that comes on. You'll see the Cisco logo. We'll have to give it a minute to start up and then we'll see network information and we'll be ready to register. Inside a control hub, you can see here, I am under devices under my username. What you gotta do is uh, really like any other device, just hit add device, select Cisco desk phone. This shows the 9800 series phones in their own category now, the 88s and the 78s and all that stuff is moved down uh, a block. So go ahead and click this. We will then select that this is a 9851. We will activate by activation code. Click next. And an activation code will be, pro will be produced for you to use for the registration. Once you have your activation code typed in, click activate. And you will see that the device has been successfully activated with the little flag icon like is on the screen here. After the device is registered, you'll notice a couple different things. Your phone number is at the top. 
You can scroll through different soft keys with the option on the right hand side here. You'll notice I have a voicemail waiting, which is why the red indicators are both flashing. Once I, you know, go check my voicemail, that'll go away. There's a number of cool things to check out. Stay tuned for a future video and I will deep dive on this endpoint in some detail. Hopefully you found this quick unboxing video helpful and uh, gives you kind of a quick idea of what this phone is like to get unboxed and set up. If you have tens or hundreds or even thousands of these things to deploy, pretty straightforward and uh, pretty uh, easy to get them unboxed and up and going. Of course, I wanna hear what you wanna know uh, or see next on these devices, so comment below. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos, and I wanna thank you for watching.